All right. Uh, my daughter says um, that her MacBook is running slowly. So what I did was I um, we're going to test it to see first how slow it is and compare it to afterwards. But what I did was I ordered some. Um, I ordered a new hard drive. I got this um, ADETA SSD drive. It's a little smaller than what she's got in there, but um, we're going to do the um, the migration of her data. And then I've got two. 8 gig um, sodium that we're going to install so we're going to up her RAM from 4 to 16 and then we're going to add this SSD so with all that let's see what happens but first I'm going to see how long it takes for it to come up so let us okay let me get the timer okay okay I'm going to hit the button and then see how long the old hard drive takes I think I hit the button. Well, maybe that's not a very good. So we're at 17 seconds, 18, Oh man. Okay, that took a minute and basically 30 seconds. Wow. Okay. That's a long time. So let's see if we can fix that. And here's the hard drive. I took it out of the box. Um, it's got the normal SATA connections. It's got it's supposed to have this one, it's supposed to be about 500 uh, megs, about 480 or 500 up um, read and write equivalency. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use one of these things one of these things I'm going to connect my hard drive and then I'm going to format this using um, <clears throat> the Apple uh, formatting and then I'm going to migrate the data over so I'll be right back give me a second this one right here so we're going to uh, erase that and then we're going to go SSD and we should go with the and then we're going to hit the erase and then it's going to format it as this journal so that we can um, install the new OS on it okay so and then we can do the copying so let's give it a try so here we go and that's that's the external drive and it's it's erasing and we're just gonna wait for it to finish it should take a little bit of time Okay, it's done, so I'm going to close it, and then I'm going to bring up, uh, everybody recommends carbon copier, so I'm going to use carbon copier here. Alright, so now, uh, later, okay, so, okay, so, the destination is going to be this, this is what I'm going to put in there, in the source, is going to be this right here right there and so we're going to clone now so that should do it and there we go so now it's cloning and that's it And then once it's all done, I'll swap the solid state for the hard drive and install the RAM. And we'll show you that once I finish this and we'll pass it boots up. Okay, so we'll be back in a sec. Okay, it's finished uh, making the uh, clone. It took about uh, 45 minutes uh, for the volume that she had. So um, what I'm going to do now is we're going to uninstall, you know, we're going to disconnect it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to install it in the computer and we'll see how fast it really is. Okay, so stay tuned for that. Okay, I did everything. I reset the VRAM, uh, VRAM and let's try it. Okay, I'm going to push the start and then push the power button. And there it goes. We've got two seconds. We have three, four, five, seven. Look at that. Look at that go. All right, that's a hard drive. Okay, so I think we should be logged in by 30 seconds there. Oh, yeah, come on. Let's go, guy. Okay. Yeah, that solid state is working pretty well. 
and 21 seconds and we're in now all right so that's pretty quick <laughs> thank you